What's up guys? Welcome to a new playthrough. We're going to be playing through Super Metroid. Um, I have already done one part of this playthrough on, um, well, it was a while ago, but we're just going to be restarting today because first of all, I deleted the profile that we did. And second of all, it had no commentary, so I just figured I'd start over and make, make it with commentary. But yeah, these are my profiles. Um, we have both 100%, both two hours. We're gonna be um we're gonna be of course going for a 100% and um we're also gonna be going for the best ending. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, let's go ahead and set up our settings. We'll go we'll do moonwalk on. I think that's all we need. All right, let's go. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy. This is also like my third favorite game of all time, I believe, on my list. I'll do a I'll do a um video of my list one day. I first battled the Metroids on Planet Zebes. It was there that I spoiled the plans of the space pirate leader, Mother Brain. To use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. Man, I hadn't played this game in a while. I used to know like all the words to all that stuff. I don't really know it that much well anymore. I haven't played it in a long time. I might not know where all the items are. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely irritated them except for a larva which after following me which after hatching followed me for like a confused child. Okay, that was a little bit better. Yeah, and this is the end of Metroid 2, I believe, right here. Yeah, where he where um you beat the Metroid Queen and then you get the egg and then you escape. I personally delivered it to the spa the Galactic Research Station, man, I can't read today, at Sears so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. I wonder how tall Samus is. Gotta be like, like 6'1", six, 6'4", six, something like that. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroids might be harnessed for the good of civilization. I love this music. Satisfied that all is well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sears Station was under attack. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the um turn the audio down on my TV real quick so it won't echo. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so we um get at Sears. And um, this game, this the movement on this game is almost perfect. And if you see me like move my gun up and down like this, that's because whenever you do that, Samus moves like one extra pixel. And it helps you run faster. Alright, so here's our first sight of Ridley right here. And the Metroid larva. And we all know the best way to do this is just to um, stand right here. And just let Ridley hit you. Because you got to get below 30 to... Um, Alright, yeah. I always liked it whenever really like pushed you up against the wall like that. Alright, we're gonna try to get out of here as quickly as possible. This, like, whenever I was a kid, well, I still am, well, no, I'm 14. Whenever I was like a little kid and I played this game with my dad, this, this part freaked me out because like the music was so intense and I knew that if I didn't make it out in a minute, I was gonna die. And I failed so many times on it because I sucked. But now I'm actually, I'm actually all right now. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm the best player in the world, but I'm, a, I'm definitely a lot better than I was all those years ago. All right, there we go. 37 seconds left to spare.
I also, um, after I finish this, well, actually, I might do it before I finish this. I want to do a Star Fox 64 playthrough. Blake, I know you're watching this. I know you want to see that, but um, I'll, I promise you, I'll, I'll do it either between episodes of this or after I finish this because I like just I just beat it like three days ago, and I want and I just like kind of want to take a break from it. So yeah, I'll I'll try to do it soon. Everyone, if you don't already know, go subscribe to Blake the Snake YT. Great YouTuber. Yeah, I always thought this was so eerie, like such an eerie atmosphere right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got it. Let's go. You have to move in like six seconds, I believe. All right, let's see if we can get all these without falling down. Dang it, we already failed. We failed again. All right, we're good now. The good, one of the good things about Metroid 2 is you you start off with the morph ball and um, also with the, with 30 missiles, I believe, yeah. All right, so this might seem familiar to all you Metroid players. This is where you start the first Metroid right here and you go right over here to get the morph ball as so do you in this game too. I always thought if that eye looked at you too long, that um like mo like mother brain would come or something or something bad would happen. I don't know why I always thought that. I was just a dumb little kid. All right, so this is where we get our first missiles right here. I love the jingle. Like though, whenever you get an item, I love that that sound. I'm pressing B to shoot. I don't know why. Alright, right over here, we're going to get another set of missiles. There's that eye again. There's actually a third eye. Like, there was one by the morph ball and one right there. But there's actually a secret eye. Like, if you, um, if you do a glitch, I forgot what glitch is called. Um, it's, it's a glitch where you have to, like, press buttons in the menu. And it makes it makes it all glitched out and everything. And there's an eye and like one of the Chozo statues. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna get to in this vi in this video. Maybe we might get to like um I don't know. We might get to crate or something. We're not gonna get too far. Gotta get all my missiles back because I gotta go fight um, a Chozo statue. I don't know if we should come down here after we get the bombs and get that missile, or we should just wait wait for later. I feel like we should just wait for later because it'll save time and we'll have more gear to get back up, like the speed boost, the screw attack. We might not have the screw attack. Dad, come it. Might not have the screw attack, but we'll, we'll come back whenever we have more materials to get back up faster. Because I really don't want to do this again right after I get the bombs, so I'm pretty sure we'll just do it later. Dang, I'm rusty. Are you serious? I can't even wall jump. Also, I am using a third party controller. The only reason I like using this is because it's a little bigger than the Super Nintendo controller, and I'm used to it now, and it has auto-fire buttons. I don't really use those very often. I'm definitely, I am definitely won't be using them in this playthrough, maybe besides whenever I'm on the Mother Brain fight, but I don't plan to do it any. But yeah, I love this game. It's, it's one of the, honestly, one of the best games of all time, in my opinion. Of course, everybody has their own opinion. 
but in my opinion, this is the best Metroid game and maybe the best game of all time. I don't know. Ocarina of Time is number one for me, and Link's Link to the Past is number two, and this is number three. I know. I'm, I like I like all the old games. I don't, I don't even think a new game is even on my list besides Metroid Dread, Halo Infinite, and Breath of the Wild. Those are only three new games that are in my top 20, I, I believe. is we're gonna go ahead and get kill that did I just say kill the door we're gonna go ahead and open that door so we can go and collect some more missiles for the boss right here nine should be enough why did I already quit missiles all right and we got the bombs these things are extremely useful in this game like you literally can't get anywhere without bombs Wake up, buddy. All right, here we go. Whenever, whenever I was a little kid and I first started playing this game, I could not beat this dude. Like I tried so hard, but I could not beat him. Like I tried so hard to beat him, but I could never beat him until I started playing it again, like three years ago. Three, I beat the game like three years ago, I believe. I remember I went to them. I, I was like stuck in the pink Bryn Star area. And I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to get past it. And we went to the mountains one year, and I brought my Super Nintendo in this game. And I finally figured out how to get past it. And I got, like, to the end of the game, and then we had to go home. And so after we got home, I um, went and beat Mother Brain. Those are good memories. Yeah, got a lot of really good memories with this game, honestly. Alright, so what we're going to do is, we're not going to go get that missile at the very bottom that I showed you earlier. We're gonna try to go ahead and um, get this one right here. We're not gonna worry about the maps or anything because you don't need them for 100% and I pretty much know this game like the back of my hand. At least I think I do. I used to, I might not anymore. But yeah, here's our second missile. No, our third missile actually, yeah. Now we should max out at 15. The max is um, 230 and I believe the max for super missiles is what is it? Um, is it? Yeah, I think it's two. No, no, it's fifty, and it's the same for power bombs too. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I apologize if I'm not. I'm, I'm. After um, after this video, I'm probably not gonna be able to make some videos until like third, like Friday of next week, because I'm going to the beach for a week. And I'm not gonna be able to make any videos there. If I like, if I, I might like record a Geometry Dash video while I'm there or something on my phone. But it, Geometry Dash is hard to play on my phone. Yeah, I might record like a Geometry Dash video while I'm at the beach, but not like any like, like quality, like good video. Like a review or anything. Oh crap, I forgot to equip missiles. Alright, we're good though. We, we're going for the best ending, so I gotta be as fast as possible. The mechanics are just perfect in this game, in my opinion. And I love this elevator music. Maybe I should start putting that in like the intro of my videos. Now the best music in the game, no doubt, is probably lower Norfair. It's either that or like the theme of the game, like the opening theme, or the or the credits. But bro, Lower North here, oh my gosh, that music rocks. All right, we got our next missile right here, and we can just lay a bomb right there. We can farm some of our energy back. No, now I need just missiles. Oh my gosh, why am I doing so bad? We should be full. Right, wait, no more. Right, no, we're good. This music is really good too. What's up there? I forgot. Is this the map room? Yeah. Dang it. I have to do it now. Come here, boy. But yeah, 
Yeah, I used to I used to be a whole lot better at this game than I am now. We'll probably get like two and a half hours instead of my usual two hours, ten minutes. We might we we're definitely gonna get the best ending. All right. So we're we're gonna go back now. Yeah, we gotta kill all the enemies to open the door. Now, this is a save right here. I might need a save just in case I die. Because I'm gonna mess up and die, you know? Yeah, we don't need to go in there. It's just a missile. So bad, you know, we're just gonna run. Yeah, come get me. Oh crap. Yeah, she almost got me. Alright. We're just gonna run through these dudes right here. Alright. So there is another missile. Get right over here. Thank you. Dang it. Yeah, this place is just like loaded with missiles. Alright, and down here we get the charge beam. Yeah, charge beam. Basically what the charge beam is, is it lets you um, charge up your beam. And you can basically do like a, like a mini screw attack. Something like that. If I didn't already show it off, um, this is the moonwalk that I turned on. We can walk backwards. It's a pretty cool feature. Alright, there's another safe. Dang, on. I'm playing terribly. Oh my gosh, why am I doing so bad? 